Yo, what's up guys, so I'm back with another video and today I have uh, a water temp gauge unboxing. Uh, sorry for the shitty um, display here and it's really good quality, so I'm not going to really do a video in my garage or a nice place because it's freaking cold and uh, I really, there's no space there to be honest, the lightning is horrible. Even though the lightning is not great here, but it's a little better. Uh, here we have a machine motor box bottom some other parts that I got but uh, here I have the gauge this is the evil series uh, pro sport gauge so if you guys are interested in this gauge oh well, you guys can take a look at it and see what you guys think for yourself so this is a normal gauge box all the, mostly all the gauges come in a box like this um, I have the display on the front showing the uh, gauge let me uh, open it real quick so plastic shit uh, here's the gauge comes right out and this one is the one that you can change settings so it comes with three uh, little buttons so you can change the settings um, it's really nice and brand new I just don't want to remove the, the plastic yet and so I put it in the car so I don't want to scratch it up uh, this is the gauge set it up right here and let me show you guys what's uh, come inside so, like any other gauge, normal packaging, uh, box, Let's see how you open this one, alright, so it opens just like this, and then this is a really uh, nice box he has inside it actually, it includes really nice uh, lettering, same pro sport performance, and as you can see, water temp gauge. See what it comes in. I already opened it before as soon as I got it, but uh, yeah, I took this out of the box. I forgot to put it back in. But uh, here are some of the cables I come with some empty box, some stickers. Uh, this, these are um, for so if you don't have a pod, they come with it, comes with already with a pod, so you can uh, screw it into your dash or screw it in somewhere in your car. Um, so it has uh, it has a safe uh, place to be on, and then here this is the hood for the gauge. So the gauge just go in here, just like this, and then you put uh, this tape. Uh, it comes with uh, some tape. Um, so all you have to do is uh, put it around the gauge right here. So you basically just put the tape around the gauge, and then stick it in here, so it'll be nice and secure. And then this is the hood for it. So it has a little gauge hood, and it goes right over it. And then over here, you guys have, it comes with a plate, which is right here. It comes with this gate, uh, this little plate that you screw into your car. So it has little holes for um, screws. And then, uh, this is the bolt that goes across the pod. Put this out here. This is a bolt that, uh, that goes across the pod on the bottom. So this just goes, like this and the ball just goes across so it will stay in place you can move it back and forth um then this is the sensor for the uh so what displays your your temperature so this sensor connects to this uh, female side over here so this uh, sensor goes on top of your radiator hose uh the top radiator hose you can put it between them and, and between both ends and you buy the little adapter you screw it in and then this uh, uh, connector goes to this one, and then this cable you run it through your firewall anywhere, anywhere you want, and where wherever your gauge is located. So it goes to the firewall inside the car, and then it just goes right here, right here behind the gauge, and it tells the gauge uh, what's the temperature. Then over here you have your power cable, so this connects to the gauge, and then this one you connect it to a uh, ground, a power. And these are accessories, I believe, for different colors, if I'm not mistaken. And then you have some instructions. Just a simple instructions. And so this is the, the oil and water temp gauge or yeah. So oil water temp gauge right here. It shows you how it goes, how everything goes. Um that's about it. That's all it comes with the box. And then this uh, gauge is around hundred bucks. I bought on eBay for 100 bucks, and um, it's a pretty good gauge. I seen videos of it. My brother has one. My brother has the 
Not, he has the Evo series, but the older one that does have the little uh, buttons on it. I like to change the settings, and his works great. Um, so that's it. That's how it comes with. And then I have more stuff that I'm gonna be unboxing if you guys are interested for uh, other videos. If you wanna stay su subscribed, stay tuned in the channel. Trust the view here and stuff. So there's a gauge. Sorry if this video is bad. I'm recording with the iPhone 8. I have the GoPro. I actually made this video already with the GoPro, but um, I'm too lazy to put the whole thing in the computer, edit it. So I, I decided to do it on my phone with a uh, movie. I forgot it's called iMovies and uh, I have this other tripod for the GoPro but he has a case so you guys won't be able to really hear uh, what I'm saying and then over here uh, I have some racing seats some energy seats if you guys are interested I got this actually from my girl uh, my girlfriend uh, gave it to me for Christmas uh, she didn't have to do it but she got me fucking uh, bucket seats which I was gonna buy anyways. So, thank you, Emily, if you're watching this. Um, but um, so she got me two of those, and then this box right here, the Mission Motor box. It's just the sliding brackets for it. And then over here I have the roll bar that I bought around two days ago. And then I believe this is a Hard Dog Ace bar. And then uh, the last owner, what he did, he welded a harness bar across and a diagonal uh, so you can put your harness for the bucket seats and he actually and then he painted it back with bed liner thing it is he told me but um it's like yeah it looks like a bed liner finish he has on it but like, i should put a flashlight so you guys can see i was looking at the welds and the welds are not that bad you know the difference between these and this is a lot but if you look from far it's not really that bad goes across and it, it feels pretty solid too so hopefully it doesn't kill me if I crack but um I paid 275 for it um it's actually a pretty good deal uh, I was gonna buy a roll bar on uh I was actually out of the hard dog bar with only a harness bar it was like 600 bucks so to say 225 actually I paid 225 for it pretty good deal and I'm happy with it so I'll be installing this if you guys want to stay tuned watch other videos um of unboxing the uh, energy seats um uh, installing this or i have a, like a shit ton of parts and so on but a lot of videos to come so uh, i'm buying a radiator too on a couple of days on friday when i get paid i'll buy another radiator because uh, i'm running on a stock radiator which is a brand new stock radiator but uh and the car usually run like a 190 which I don't like it running at 190. I usually like to stay below that and when I do a pull it goes to like 198 And then it goes right back down, but I prefer when I go to autocross it's gonna be a little bit more uh, Might be beating on it a little bit more. So I Don't want to be overheating So I'm getting an aluminum radiator Installing all this uh, this stuff. So if you guys want to stay tuned on my channel and watch more of my Miata Or my brother's uh, DSM uh, Make sure to hit that like button if you like the video dislike if you didn't like it and uh subscribe for to watch more so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one